It's only a place in passing now, but once all roads in South Leinster led to Kilcallan, now Old Kilcullen. Local lore has it that seven such roads converged on the hilltop monastic settlement established by St. Patrick himself and placed under the bishopric of his disciple Isernan. On his death, another student of Patrick, Mactalius, took over until his own death in 550, perhaps from plague. The site had probably been chosen by Patrick for his local monastery because it directly faced Dunoilina, a place of meetings, festivities and rituals going back well beyond the birth of Christ, and which the bringer of Christianity to Ireland likely believed was a pagan place which had to be directly challenged. Kilcullen grew in size and importance down the centuries, so much so that by the 9th century it had wealth that would attract plunderers. A round tower was built for protection, but didn't stop subsequent depredation by Vikings. In 932, it's recorded that the Norsemen attacked and took away a thousand captives. Another attack in 944 is also noted, and in 1114, a raid is supposed to have left the community buildings around the settlement burned white. Some 60 years later, Kilcullen's status was reduced to that of a parish. Already in decline, when the first bridge over the nearby Liffey was built in 1319, the once powerful settlement diminished even more quickly in favour of the new Kilcullen Bridge, today's Kilcullen. But a small village remained around it, and in 1460 a new church was erected beside the tower by Sir Roland Eustace of Harris Town. In the rebellion of 1798, the tower was badly damaged by Crown forces and most of the village houses clustered down the hill were destroyed. A subsequent engraving, however, showed the church to be still standing and in use. Today only its foundations are visible and offer a convenient space for occasional school and commemorative talks and the location for the annual cemetery mass for those buried in the old churchyard around the tower. Old Kilcullen, now just a place of memories, but powerful ones.